All right, we are gonna be doing some beef short ribs on the Weber Smoky Mountain. I've got just a few coals here started, a few briquettes. And I've got a bunch of lump charcoal in here as well. Um, the lump charcoal burns hotter, um, but it also has a really good smoke flavor to it. So it's a little harder to control the temperature on lump charcoal. It's also, uh, doesn't burn quite as long as the briquettes will, uh, but the flavor's really good, less additives and stuff in there. So I try to use it as much as possible. Then I've also got some, I'll tell you what woods I got going on here. Let's get those started there. I've got some shag bark hickory, which is a very, very tasty hickory with a very strong uh, flavor to the smoke. I've also got some shag bark bark, which is very, very different tasting, very sweet, very sweet smelling and tasting, very different from just hickory. Um, and then I've also got a little bit of pecan on there for just a little bit of a a mix of flavors. I kind of like doing these three. This has worked out very well for me. Also, just these two has worked well. Also, shag bark and oak has worked really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this on here. I'm going to let it start smoking for about an hour. That way, the thick, cloudy smoke kind of works its way to more of a clear smoke. Uh, the clear smoke is going to provide the best flavor. Uh, the thicker smoke may look like you're getting a lot more accomplished, but it does not taste as good. Sometimes it just makes that neat meat taste gross. So as a general rule, you want that, that smoke as clear as possible. That's where you get all the flavor and none of the mess, also less carcinogens. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this on here and we'll check back in an hour. Also worth noting, I, I like to use the Inkbird uh, dual temperature sensor here. It's Bluetooth, goes to my phone. Makes it really nice. It, it makes it much more set and forget it. Once you get the Weber uh, Smoky Mountain dialed in, you know, it's really going to run for hours without any attention. I mean, you can adjust it little bits if you're really picky about precise temperatures. Uh, but between this and that, you can really set this thing and it'll go for quite some time, four to eight hours sometimes. Up to, probably up to eight hours if you got briquettes going without really needing any upkeep, which is nice. So got this going, I have one for ambient temperature. That's just gonna kinda sit there, not touching any metal or anything, and I'm gonna throw that one into one of my beef short ribs. Okay, we've been going about 15 minutes, and you can see we're, we're cooking super hot right now. 300 degrees, 280 degrees. We wanna be between 225 and 250, and we wanna get our meat temperature up to about 205 degrees. That's where all the collagens break down and you get a really tasty beef short rib. So I'm gonna go ahead and close some of these bottom vents. You always wanna leave the top vent wide open, uh, so I'm, or at least the top vent open. You never wanna close it fully. I'm gonna close some of these bottom vents to get that temperature down to my desired uh, temperature, and then in a little while we'll throw on the meat. All right, we've been going for about four hours here. As you can see, sitting about right around 243, 245 degrees. That's been awesome. Our meat's come up to 176 degrees. And while we could eat it now, uh, getting up to that 205 degree mark is going to make a big difference. I just now threw a little bit extra charcoal on there, a little extra lump charcoal. Um, and so this is really the first kind of white smoke we've seen in a while. Um, letting it kind of smoke for an hour before putting your meat on there gets you that really clear smoke. This is about as white as we've seen the whole time. Um, and so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on here. There we are, sitting about four hours in. They're looking delightful, looking really, really good. Had a barbecue uh, sauce on there, had a, a mustard-based barbecue sauce that they were sitting in overnight. Kind of the first time I've tried this sauce. We'll see how it turns out, but we're seeing some really nice recession off the bones there. That's just looking great. But again, once we get to 205, that cartilage is gonna break down, be really easy really easy to eat it's gonna make it really really nice and lovely so I think we're probably looking around five hours maybe six hours we're gonna have some delicious short ribs here okay so here we are right at five hours and they are looking nice I just threw some charcoal on there I'd say about 30 minutes ago because our temp was getting low so we got a little fire going but that is looking beautiful let's get these guys off the grill cut into them we just hit 205 degrees um, I'm excited to see how it turned out today. All right, so here we are. We have right around five hours smoke on this guy and 15 minutes of rest. And that is looking beautiful right there. See it receded back from the end of the bones really nicely. Let's cut this guy open and see what we're looking like on the inside. Oh yeah, and that is, that is exactly what you wanna see right there, so. That is beautiful. 
Weber Smoky Mountain 250 degrees for right around five hours. Um, it turned out beautiful.